Okay, so my current setup here was having the access point in a plastic bag up on top of the RV. But uh, it's obviously not waterproof. So I had to wrap it in a plastic bag because we got rained on, dumped on a couple times. So now, uh, that's why I bought the nano station because it's waterproof and also it has a directional antenna. So we're gonna see how that compares with putting the, the TP link, the cheap $20 TP link in a plastic bag, which it hasn't gotten wet yet. Just make sure that your uh, plastic bag doesn't have any holes in it. Right now I'm gonna configure the nano station uh, and see how much better it is. First step here is to power off the existing access point. I'm gonna just unplug it. Okay, right, so you know me, I can't, I can't just sit here and do nothing. So I actually ordered this Ubiquiti Nano Station M2. So this is the 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, it's an 8 dB directional antenna. So I just want to compare it to what I'm getting on TP-Link, that cheap TP-Link router that I bought. So if this plus the router makes a big difference, we'll see, I'll do some speed tests, things like that. So let's check it out. Right now, um, I just had, uh, I just got these cables uh, from a cool local computer guy that actually made them for me and tested them and everything. There's boots on them as well, so there's snagless. That's pretty cool. Uh, injector here, uh, PoE into the one LAN port. So it's powered up. As you can see, the lights are power and LAN connected to my laptop. Right now I'm just downloading the new firmware and I'm applying that. Do a lookup between, there was two firmwares, wrong firmware version is uploaded. See, I don't know why they, they just don't uh, tell you which one to use. XW Nano Station M Local, Local NS M2? They don't tell you exactly. There's an XM firmware and an XW and nowhere does it say that unless I friggin' missed it. WX, anyways, whatever. Kind of stupid, but let's see. Uploaded firmware 619, updates, updating. Okay, so 619, so that latest uh, version here, that's cool. Uh, I haven't read too much about this, but I'm pretty sure that figure this out here. Okay, so I think I've set this nano station up properly. I had to read some stuff and actually looked at some YouTube videos. So basically what essentially is happening here is I need to double NAT this. So the, 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 the wireless network connects to the existing access point here in the park that I'm at and as a station and that gets a DHCP IP from the park. Then on the network side, the LAN side, I choose a different subnet because I know the park is using a one dot network. So I set DHCP, uh, I set this in access, access point mode with a DHCP range of five. So 5.1 or whatnot. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug this into the I'm gonna reset the TP link because I need a router now to do the actual local network uh, local network Wi-Fi. This will get plugged into the WAN port of that router. And then we'll see how that goes. But before I do that, I just wanna get some testing on what we're getting off the current TP link to see if this is actually any better. Uh, let's do some pinging around and let's see what else is going on here. So I'm gonna ping. TTL is not bad actually. It actually hasn't been, it hasn't been bad, that TP-Link. Sometimes it drops, though. It's an omnidirectional, uh, just cheap $20 router, so... And it's getting later in the day now, so... The, uh, the network is gonna start to get saturated, so that's where I'm really gonna notice it. Okay, so it's not too bad. Let's do a speed test. Let's say 8x2. 8x2. One other thing I'm gonna show you is, uh... On the TP link, when you go into the Wi-Fi, I go into advanced, oh, sorry, I go into scan. Now it's giving me these numbers. So on the TP link, it's a uh, signal, the signal for KK Highway is 80. Signal strength is 80. But I don't know if that signal strength is actually DB. I couldn't find this out. Is it DBM? I don't know if it's just listing it in order of, like, is the, because DB would be reverse, right? DB 80 is really low. Uh, this one here, that 60 is a lot closer. This one's a lot closer. But I don't know why it has it in an ID, uh, like an ID of this. So I don't know how this is, I don't know what this 80 represents, if it's DBM or not. If it's DBM, that's bad. 
Okay, it doesn't have a negative there, right? It should have negatives there. So I don't know how this is interpreting that. So let's do some browsing around here. Let's go to, uh, I'm just gonna click on how fancy water bottles became 21st century. Okay, it's pretty quick. Why America apartment buildings. Okay, just clicked on it and you can see that, you know, it's a little, it's a little sluggish transferring data. There's a pic nice big picture there. Let's go to, let's go to Reddit. You can see it's kind of boop, boop, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but it does come up. And I have been able to do most of my work using this during the day. At night, it slows down a lot. I'll, I'll be able to figure out. Um, at night, I've had to really reduce everything to about 360p or 480p at the most streaming YouTube videos. Let's check this one out. That's pretty fast, you know? So that little TP link for 20 bucks, the only downside is it's directional. So if I was a lot further away from the access point or the repeater, uh, that might be an issue. Yeah, you can see YouTube takes a second here. Uh, let's just click on this Vivo one, All right? Takes a couple of seconds to load the page. You can see there's a little bit, little bit of delay here when I'm waiting for things. Select the mirror. Let's select United States East. Just to select the default download. Uh, 300 kilobytes. Uh, 300, 400. 300, 400, 300. Right, I got a little dropout, I think, happening. This happens every once in a while. Dropout, boom, down to two. So that's the that is that's my only little complaint. And like I said, I'm not really complaining. I've been able to do what I've needed to do uh, while I've been here. But we can see here 400. So you know what? It's not bad. 700 kilobytes is pretty good. Uh, I would say on average, what's my average here? 300, let's let's go ahead and say my average is around 350. Okay, it's dropping, it's dropped quite a bit now, 200. Let's say my average is 300, okay? Let's do that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plug the nano, I'm gonna reset the TP link. I'm gonna plug in the nano station uh, to the TP link. Uh, I'm gonna see what the best signal noise I can get on the nano, on the, uh, nano station and go from there. Okay, I just reset the TP link, so that's 192.168.0.1, I think. Operation mode is gonna be router. I wanna change it from zero, I wanna make it 10. All right, the network on the WAN is gonna be dynamic, it's gonna get it from the nano station. The LAN is gonna be 10. Dot one, save, it's gonna reboot. Okay, so 10.1 it is. Okay, so I'm back in at 192.168.10.1. .1. So we've created the separate network there. I'm gonna create the wireless network now. Okay, so I think I'm done here. So I have my, I've created, I, I put this on a separate subnet, 10.1. I created the wireless network. I signed an SSID. I signed WPA2 security. So now what I need to do is I just need to plug the nano station into the WAN port of this thing. Do I have another ethernet cable? Yes, I do. Now we have lights on the nano station already, which means it's connected to the KK Highway SSID of the park. So it's right there, 48, wow. Okay, so let's try some YouTube stuff. It's, a, it's about the same as a TP link, but you know what, I just come to realize that I think I just found the KK, that, that access point. So there's the nano station, and if you look just up from here, see that pole? It's a ubiquity patch antenna. I just found it, you know, I just, I've never, just, I've never noticed it until now, because I was pointing it out the window. I'm pretty sure that is KK Highway. Oh, okay, yeah, well, we got we got a nice buffer stream now. That's pretty good, and it's HD. But like I said, this gets really bad at night, so most likely it's just because of saturation on the internet connection. Let's go back to OpenSense here, and oh yeah, East Coast, New York City. Well, I was hoping to see a, a dramatic increase, but that signal strength is. 
is very good. Like 40, 50, that's pretty good. Uh, try this again, download. I did see seven, 800 kilobytes on the TP link. So that's kind of odd. I, move it up. I mean, it is still inside. So let me just, let me go outside and just try, oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. Because to be fair, the TP link was on the roof. So I'm just gonna go put this on the roof. Yeah, yeah, one sec. I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave this running. It's very, it looks like it's very, very particular on where I'm holding it, one second. Kind of pointed in its direction. Oh shit, yes, one meg, 1.2. There we go, now we're talking. Now we are talking, 900 kilobytes. And I, I just have it leaning. I don't even have it properly mounted. I'm getting a meg. Sorry, I'm very excited about this actually. I, I'm trying to just figure out the temp, the permanent location of that because I need to somehow secure it. Right now it's not ideal. I think I know what I can do with this thing. So uh, there's here's the AC unit. There's the AC unit, there's some holes here. I think I can just use like a zip tie and just strap it right there for now. And that is G to G, my friend. That is G to G. That is G to G right there if I just strap it through. I, I don't have any zip ties, but I'll, uh, I'll figure something out in the short term. But that is good. And I'm gonna just put it out the window for now, I think. Let's get this all set up. Okay, let's see what we got. So it's getting dark, it's getting dark, it's getting dark. And I'm only turning on lights because even, even though there's not that many uh, mosquitoes here, you get some uh, here and there. So uh, I have the, I have the TP link in the front of the cab that's just sitting there and I have uh, the patch antenna. Pfft, there's a moth that just flew in here. Okay, so that should be, that should be it. Let's just see what we're getting in terms of uh, download speed here. 44 dBm. Let's download this thing again. It was really good back here. I put it in the front. I wonder if I just should just move it. I mean, I'm line of sight, but I'm on an angle. I, I actually need to get up on the, on the roof and I, it's actually quite difficult. I don't have a ladder here. Okay, so I'm actually on the roof now, and uh, I got it over to uh, round about where I think it should be. So we're gonna try to uh, to do this now. All right, boys. I think that's as good as it's gonna get for today. It's getting dark, and uh, hopefully it's okay right now. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. You can see the AP. Do you see it over there by that light? I don't know if you can see it. There it is. There's that. There's that. Okay, getting down from there is a little scary, boys. Ooh. What do we got now? Let's redownload this thing. Actually, let's, let's take a look at the signal strength. Still 46. We get 900, 900, one megabit, one megabit, one megabyte, sorry, one megabyte. All right, so it was worth it. Getting down off the roof without a ladder is pretty scary. I don't want to do that too many times in a row. We're fluctuating around 700, 600, but hey, good to go. We're getting at least double the speed uh, throughput, possibly when everyone's off because it's nighttime now. We're going to get maybe about a megabyte, something like that. Oh, yeah, and uh, obviously with the nano station, I don't have to worry about... Uh, I don't have to worry about it getting wet. It is waterproof, so that is good stuff.